running through the features of multi-tool prepared. First of all is the native 3D stereoscopic. So that works with half SBS, half over under and also has uncompressed SBS for VR headsets if you want to try it with that. You can run in windowed or full screen mode. It's compatible with virtual cockpit spot and outside aircraft views. There's head tracking enhancements that will work both in 2D and 3D. Those include being able to, with a head movement, switch to a close-up of your instruments that you've predefined using some other features in this program. The compass ordinals are defined so you can switch quickly to a left or right wing or to rearward view and still use the movement of your head for tracking. Spot height um, in your spot views is works with um, up and down head movement. There's the ability to auto lock your heading um, part of your head movement during the takeoff roll just to make it um, easier to do your takeoff. And there's an adjustment for moving your y axis up or down as your head moves um, closer or further away from the screen. There's also the um, inversion of the spot view rotation direction. There's camera shake and vibration effects. Again, they're working both the 2D and the 3D. So um, turbulence, which you can adjust um, by axis and amplitude, ground roll vibration, spoiler, and side slip buffeting. There's definition of cameras for both 2D and 3D. Now this is not supposed to replace EasyDock, um, but EasyDock does not do 3D and so if you're using 3D you do need something that does that same job. Um, so you can save and recall any of the six degrees of freedom and they'll be accessible through your add-ons menu. There's a user interface for making those adjustments and manipulating them. There's the addition of an external camera, so you can make any external aircraft um, camera manipulations. There's the saving of the XYZ um, panel, is what I've called it, which is the close-up of your instruments, which you can then trigger from a controller button or from your head tracking head movement. You can convert a POV button, like a four direction POV, and you can then assign those events to either um, SIM events or to keystroke macros. Now, keystroke macros are sequences like um, Alt, V for views, or any of the menu combinations. Anything you can do with keys through the menu, you can turn into a macro which you can assign to a button. There's a multi-screen virtual cockpit setup. Now this has been sort of superseded in version 3.3.5, um, but for 2.4 and 3.3.2 it might still prove useful and it's still a very quick and easy way of setting up several extensions onto different monitors. So it um, positions the additional virtual cockpit views um, so that they're matching um, up and down or left and right and then zooming and panning will um, progress to all those views simultaneously. And the primary screen could be in 3D and you could have 2D views joining onto it. There's a landing lineup feature so you can position yourself out from any airfield for practice for landing. The list is quite extensive, you can amend it and add additional airports and it sort of auto adjusts for the specs of the aircraft that you're in. There's save and recall of your view setup, so like if you have a little window in one corner with a spot view and um, another docked view somewhere else and an undocked view on a different screen it will save all that and you can then recall that um, at a push of a button and that's by aircraft so each aircraft you could have set up differently so that differs from loading a saved flight because um, loading a saved flight takes you to a specific 
place and time and weather etc this other thing takes wherever you are at the moment and applies the setup to it auto saving of position is logging your position every 30 seconds and you can recall about five minutes backwards so um, in the event of a crash you can go back a minute or two minutes or whatever it might be or if you're practicing landings you can go back a minute or two minutes etc and there's um, a series of other minor features which you can find out by installing the program